Have you ever thought of moving to Athens? Do you think you can make it financially wise? You will soon find out. Please give a thumbs up to this video, subscribe to my channel and share if you liked it. Today I'm going to talk about the cost of living in Greece. The prices in this video are going to be for one person per month. If you have visited Greece, you may have thought that it's actually cheap to live in but you have to consider that we actually get a way lower salary than you do abroad. So our prices may seem low to you, but to us they are regular or a little bit expensive. And if you have a sweet kitten like this one, it can get quite harder. You have to consider that in Greece the basic salary is 540 euros net. So many Greeks get this salary regardless of their occupation. The number one most expensive thing in Greece is the rent. The rent prices have actually skyrocketed in the last years due to the high Airbnb demand and Greeks find it a little hard to find a suitable place for them depending on their salary. I did a little research because you know we're not some random channel here. In central Athens rents are a little bit expensive uh, the closer you want to live to the city center, the more expensive they're going to be. You can find a studio apartment from 250 euros, uh, depending on the area, of course. That price is going to be in a very cheap area. And uh, it can go up to uh, 400 euros in a moderate priced area. If you want to have a view of the Acropolis when you wake up, you can actually find a studio for a thousand euros but that's your choice. I have actually found out that studio prices are a little bit higher mainly because uh, they are furnished in comparison to the one bedroom apartments which are not usually furnished. The starting prices for a one bedroom apartment can be the same with a studio apartment which is 250 euros but don't get your hopes up because it's actually in a very uh, cheap area. It's usually a basement apartment or a ground floor apartment and a very old building. Um, and it's a little bit hard if you're used to large apartments with rooms full of light and many amenities. And they can go up to 600 euros in a moderate area. I don't even want to talk about the most expensive areas like Kolonaki or near Acropolis or Plaka because they can go up to 1600 euros and I don't think anybody could afford that. If you want to rent a house in another area uh, that's kind of close by to the city center but not like so expensive you should expect uh, uh, prices for a one bedroom apartment to be uh, about 400 or 450 euros. Now, depending on the size of your apartment, your electricity bill may vary from 30 euros a month uh, up to 70 euros a month with moderate usage. But never forget that depending on your electricity company, it can actually be a monthly or bi-monthly bill. So you have to calculate it accordingly. The water bill is actually the cheapest bill in Greece. Uh, it can range from uh, 5 euros a month up to like 13 euros a month. This actually is dependent on the usage of course and this is a bi-monthly bill too. Now for the heating. Now if you are lucky enough to have central heating in your apartment because in the later years uh, many buildings have no heating at all because they don't have money to pay it. It's going to cost you in the summer for about 10 euros a month and in the winter depending on how much the heating is on uh, from 20 euros a month and it can skyrocket to like 120 euros per month. This bill is really dependent on the size of your apartment because in this bill the building maintenance fees are included and uh, the larger apartment you have the more fees you're going to pay. Now for the internet uh, you can pay from 20 euros a month uh, up to 35 euros a month for an average speed connection, um, usually not fiber. For your phone bill, uh, if you have a prepaid plan you can pay from 10 euros a month or a postpay plan you can go up to 25 euros a month but you can go way higher if you want to but most Greeks pay this amount in average. 
public transportation. I find it to be quite cheap in Greece, but it's sometimes not so efficient. Uh, but if you live in the city center, it's going to be all right. It's 27 euros for a 30 day ticket. And if you are a student, it's about 13 euros a month. Now, if you don't want to get a monthly pass, you can pay a single ticket, which costs one euro and 20 cent. And the student one costs 50 cents. Now, if you are like most Greeks that prefer to have a car and get around using their car, uh, you have to pay way more money uh, per month. Um, for example, the gas price in Greece uh, is about 1.40 euros, which is really expensive compared to the rest of the Europe and the rest of the world. Groceries are a little bit tricky to calculate because depending on how much groceries somebody gets and how many chocolates, candy or how if they cook at home or if they get takeout will usually cost about 1 to 200 euros per person per month but depending on your eating habits it can go way higher. Now the grand total for a single person to live uh, in a studio or a one bedroom apartment in a very cheap area is about 462 euros but if this person likes to live a little more fancy and uh, wants a one bedroom apartment in a better area uh, you know and uh, consumes a lot of electricity and water and uh, likes to have the heating all, all the time and uh, then it can cost up to 1090 euros which is really absurd which I believe no Greek under 30 years old would afford. Now, do you think you could make it? Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and watch one of my previous videos.